Hey guys, my name is Shubham Kejriwal and today in this video I have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 with me once again on this channel and in this video we'll be talking about the CM14 ROM that I have installed on this device. Now I have already made a video regarding CM14 ROM on this device but previously that ROM was not at all stable like camera didn't work and it had many peripheral bugs but now that we have an update to that ROM, yes we have an update to an official ROM but we have an update to it and now I am I can say that almost all of the bugs are fixed. When I say almost, I actually mean it and you are going to take a look at what I am saying really very soon. So yes, without any further ado, let us get started, talk about this ROM on this device and take a look at what all has changed. So I'm not going to like state each and every pro and con of this ROM because I have already done that in the previous video which I made regarding the CM14. So I'm just going to talk about what's new and what's different from that ROM which was a downgraded version of this particular ROM. So that is one thing and you can take a look at that video on my channel. The link would be over here in this card or wherever it is popping or in the description down below so just make sure that you check that out if you want to know more about that ROM and more about what all it has to offer but as of now let's talk about what's new on this particular ROM first of all first and the foremost thing which I was really very excited about was the fact that the camera actually now works on this ROM so previously can you fucking shut up who are you okay go away so previously we had this thing that the camera didn't actually work on this ROM like it did work but it did not like it was occasional if it wanted to work it was totally dependent on the mood of this camera application but now it works almost all of the time again almost but it is like 95% it would be working and it is just 5% chance that it might crash so yeah there is a probability but still you are most mostly you know good at this point of stage of this ROM so yeah the camera application works pretty fine and you can see my leg dirty legs over there why am I showing you that <laughs> but yeah that's that that's my room really messed up don't have to care about it yeah we have that and one another thing regarding the camera which has still not fixed is the fact that the video recordings don't actually work so you can take as many photos as you want I just go into the camera application and just snap some photos it takes the photos very quickly and very nicely but if you go to the video section and try to record a video it will show this interface but if you click the video recording it would just crash you see camera error can't connect to camera dismiss and it would just crash that's one thing you cannot record videos even now on this ROM. so now one very interesting thing that i've noticed is the fact that if, that if you open the cam uh, instagram application and you just go into the camera section and just photo section or oh, i mean video section obviously and try to record a video from here okay it's not recording now can you record a video for me please okay now it's not but for a chance previously i was able to record videos on this chan uh, on this instagram application too so now i kind of got confirmed that it is not a every time procedure and it does crashes but um previously it was like i, I was able to take videos and i'm not telling the lie okay I was able to capture video. Also one very interesting thing about the camera application itself is the fact that if you go into the camera application you can just use your fingerprint scanner to actually capture photos and now this is one thing which I haven't even seen in official ROMs, official custom ROMs for this device but it being available on an unofficial ROM and that to custom is really a very nice thing and I really appreciate it. So just to give you a demo if I just place it over here take some focus, focus, focus and if I just use my fingerprint scanner you can see it captures a photo and that is actually pretty nice another thing which i wanted to talk about um okay 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 everything else works fine as i already told not many bugs that i have noticed at all like one bug is there like if you go to an uh, application like for example if i go to the updated application in this settings um about phone and then sounds and more updates you see this long you know i don't know permission kind of a screen which does not respond is one bug on this ROM. So this wasn't a problem in the previous ROM but this is a new bug that I'm seeing right now. That is kind of a disappointing thing. But you can pretty much fi fix this because you can go into um, manually go into the applications and grant each of them permissions that, it, that they require. So in the starting like each and every application of course wants some permissions. So it was getting a bit annoying. So what I did just go, went into the application settings and just one by one uh, set the uh, permission for each and every application and it made my task really very easy so I would recommend you to do that first of all when you get this ROM if you get this ROM for yourself and that would be really very very nice for you if you don't want to get frustrated really very soon about this ROM another down point about this ROM that the new version has brought is the fact that the RAM management has decreased in the previous ROM where I was getting about 1 GB of RAM available all the time surprisingly on this new version I am able to get only you know what 
400 to 500 MB of RAM available all the time. That is really, really very bad. I never expected that to happen from, from this ROM. How do I decrease the brightness? Okay. So yeah, if I go to the memory and over here, as you can see, um, total memory 1.8 GB and free only 477 MB. That's kind of a disappointing thing because the previous ROM gave me like what? 1 GB of RAM and just buy an upgrade and by just improving the camera, they have reduced about 500 MB of RAM. That's kind of a disappointing thing and I was not expecting that, but that's one thing. But overall, the performance doesn't get sacrificed at all and that is a nice thing, but still, it is present there. Again, very nice thing about this ROM that I wanted to mention is the fact that they have actually improved and included new features. Like um, what I wanted to show you is this ambient display feature. Like uh, you can see on your display right now, a clip that I made. And according to that, using this ambient display feature, you can actually flash notifications really very easily and really effectively without even touching the phone. So you can just wave your hand above the uh, proximity sensor and it would detect it and would flash some notifications within the black and white range so that your battery doesn't get wasted that much. That is again a nice thing and I really appreciate the company including it. Another thing that I wanted to tell you guys which is again a disappointing thing about this ROM is the fact that even now I'm not able to access my SD card. So I can in, uh, you know access my internal storage but as was the problem with the free previous ROM uh, uh, that was that I wasn't able to access my SD card. Right now too I am not able to access it and it says that I want root access. So just after I get the root access then only I am eligible to get my get to my SD card but right now I am not able to do that and that's very 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 frustrating and annoying. But yeah that would be don't you shut down on me god damn it. But yeah, that will be basically it for this video then. All the pros and cons are right in front of you so you can decide whether you want to install this ROM or not. The link to the previous video as I already told would be in the description. Another thing is that the download link for this ROM would be of course in the description too. So you can download this ROM pretty easily with that link. So yeah, that will be basically it for this video then. Share this video with anyone concerned. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. Yeah, I just call myself awesome and my content awesome without anyone even considering about it. But yeah, that's a fact. That's me. Um, yeah, subscribe to the channel and also and also give this video a huge thumbs up if you found this video helpful and interesting maybe. That is basically it. My name is Shubham Kirjiwal. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.